Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Today's plan, brunch, touring all of the colleges. Not all of them, but as many as Brooke can sneak me into. That's why I'm wearing her Hartford jacket. Lunch in the hall with the rowing team. Shopping, Anthropology, Westgate Mall. Mm -hmm. Come back here, do um, laundry maybe. Yeah. Christchurch with, oh, get dressed for the formal Christchurch with Des formal dinner college bar. Fit check, I'm wearing Brooks Hartford jacket and my mom's dress that she didn't fit her so she gave it to me. I'm also wearing a tennis skirt because we're all wearing tennis things today. Tennis skirts. Um, and a jean jacket. It's the George Street Social. Okay, the place we're gonna go is closed, so we're going to this other place. It's called Volson Garden. I waited a day, hoping something would rise from the grave. Someone save me. Dating from 1320, this room is Oxford's first Central University building. First stop, Worcester College. Okay, they didn't let us into that college because it's too early, so we're gonna go shopping now and then do colleges after lunch. We're doing laundry quickly before lunch, and I realized that I lost my lens cap somewhere in this morning. So now I have no lens cap for my camera, and I'm just gonna order a new one to come to Wisconsin. Oh. Because I don't want to re 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 uh, we retraced our steps a little bit this morning, but then I was like, you know what, I don't think we're going to find it. Let's just not worry about it. I'll probably put a sock over my camera eventually, but all my socks are dirty, so we're washing them along with Brooks laundry. We had lunch in the hall, which was super cool. Every time I ate in the hall, I felt like a bona fide Oxford student. We made it into Worcester College, which is where Brooke has class. Wow. It's beautiful. So this lake is in their college, like within the gates. That's crazy. We're currently in the Worcester College Chapel. I feel like I can't talk loudly, even though no one else is here. It's a little echoey. They have morning prayer at 8.15. The Bible is open to Romans for, I think, tonight's service. And the verse is Romans 12, 9 through the end, which is such a good verse. Our next stop is Trinity College, and we're in. And it's beautiful. And this is one that's closed to visitors, but since Brooke's a student, we can come. Now we're at New College, which is not new. How old is it, Brooke? So old, and the they filmed some of Harry Potter here. And this is our last stop for the current outing. We're gonna go back and rest after this, and then go to Christchurch with Des. Well, you can can you see out into the city, or is this more of the college? Oh, I think it's more of the college. Boom! This is their dining hall. And there's the Harry Potter tree with all the tourists. Brooke and I came back. I fell asleep while reading. Brooke, did you just read the whole time or did you do your fantasy? I did my fantasy. <laughs> Where did I put my crossbody bag? Ooh. Oh, here it is. It's under my stuff. Um, anyway, I fell asleep and then woke up really suddenly. And we have a formal dinner tonight to go to for Hartford College. And so we have to get ready. And it's 3.53 and we're supposed to meet Brooke's friend Des for a tour of Christchurch at 4. And then we're not coming back until like 10 p.m. So we just got ready really quickly and now we're here. I'm putting on different earrings and then we'll be ready to go and it's going to be fun. But sorry Des, this is why we're late because we were napping. Christchurch College is one of the most famous and quintessential colleges in Oxford. It's super pretty. The Queen stayed there for a little bit. Parts of Harry Potter were filmed there and you can only get in if you pay a lot of money or if you have someone who is a Christchurch student. With you. So Brooke's friend Des is a Christchurch student and gave us a tour. This is the dining hall that inspired Harry Potter. They didn't film it here, but because Christchurch didn't want to take down the paintings. 
We finished up the tour at Christchurch and then headed to Hartford for a boat blessing service before the next day, which you'll see what we do the next day. It was a super unique opportunity. And then we had a little bit of downtime, so we read in the Hartford Con Room before going to a formal dinner. This is another really cool opportunity that, like, I'm never going to experience an Oxford formal dinner again. And most people will never experience an Oxford formal dinner in their lives. So I'm so grateful that I got to have this experience. The food was good. Um, it wasn't like the best food I ate on this trip, but it was definitely good. And the vibes were incredible. Wow. Formal dinner, check. Now we're going to the college bar. So every college has their own bar, and you also usually have at least one special college drink. So ours, we have Pango, Deer Beer, and the Bridge. And none of them are particularly good, but that's not the point. <laughs> also, neither of us are drinking, so. It's extra not the point tonight. We're just here for a good time. <laughs> Sparkling water. I'm so tired. Good morning and happy Tuesday. No, it's not Tuesday, it's Wednesday. And we're making breakfast in the dorm position. And it's a little bit janky. Breakfast is served. It's a big day. It's race day. Go, Brooke! We're about to leave Vaults and Gardens. This beautiful little coffee shop. The place we were trying to go was closed. Or no, they didn't have any tea. And Brooke and I both are only tea drinkers. We came here instead and worked all morning. And now we're going to go back to the covered markets to get typical English meat pies for lunch, which I'm very excited for. Everything smells so nice here. And the flowers smell so nice. Pie master. Oh, okay. pie minister. Pie minister. But I feel like rain. And I can't help but think if I would just let go. I could help flood the earth and then watch it grow. No. You might be a supporter. Ta da! She's a rower. It's not that bad, yeah. No. Here we have a Hartford men's boat getting ready to go out to race. There's a Hartford men's team running before the girls. And so I'm walking down to watch them, but the girls can't come because they are warming up and getting ready for their race. So I'm going to go and watch the men. They're supposed to bump the team in front of them pretty much right off the bat. The way the Oxford 8s work, and I did not know this until this week, is it's not like a race where you're trying to get to the finish line first, but the boats are all lined up like 10 feet or so apart, I think, at the beginning. And then the goal is to bump the boat in front of you, and once you bump them, you like win for the day. But if you get bumped, you're out. And if you're the first team, you have to get all the way to the finish line without getting bumped. And Brooke is the first team in her division, so they have to do the whole course. But the men's one that I just watched, they bumped like right away. We didn't even see it. Like that clip that I put was them bumping, but I didn't, like you can't even see it on camera. So in order for Brooke to win hers, they have to row the entire course without getting bumped, which is very tiring. And if they do that, then they'll get bumped up to the next division and they'll have another race where they'll have to bump the boat in front of them. 
So that race was at 2.15, Brooks is at 2.45. And so I'm walking back to the boathouse and we'll see if they're in the water yet. There they are. There's sun and it's still raining, but just in time for Brooks race, there's a little teeny bit of sun peeking out the clouds. The starting line is just past that bridge. Good, they're still in front. That's not a crazy lead, I don't think, but it's still early. I say as I know nothing about rowing. Go Hartford! Woo! Come on, Hartford! Keep it up! Give it up, Hartford! I can't keep sprinting, they're too fast. But they had like a boat length between them. I can sort of see them. Um, I think the other team is gaining, but hopefully they can hold to the end. They're totally gonna be dead. Because the crunch is up there. They're coming back. Oh, well. I just realized not the wrong boat house. <laughs> My ears are poking out. That's funny. Announcing the results in the women's division five. Ruben from Mansfield two, and all other crews rode over. All other crews rode over. Rode Brooke, back. how are the blisters? You have ten minutes if you wish to appeal these results. <laughs> <laughs> they were a decent whale and they kind of did a pattern and they were licking, they were so messy they were just going all out to try and catch This race we're watching from on top of the bridge. They're all the way at the back. There they go. So they rolled over, which means they completed the course without bumping the next team, which means they'll have to row again tomorrow. But I mean, I still got to see two races and it was great and they did a good job. So good day. Dinner time. Trivia's over, and I'm about to fall asleep. That's it for all.